So there's some confusion stemming from NVIDIA's GTX 1080 and GTX 1070 launch, and that confusion is centered on the term Founders Edition, which sounds like something out of a Kickstarter campaign. Maybe you have the Legendary Edition or whatever, and it's a limited time offer. That is not the case with the GTX 1080 Founders Edition. It is not limited time. It is not only for founders or early buyers, as we understand it in the gaming world. But what it is, is a replacement of the nomenclature reference card. I'm using these air quotes just to kind of be clear about things, because there's these terms are important to understand because it has caused this confusion. So the reference cards, they have a reference cooler, they have a reference PCB, and they of course just have a standard clock. They're basically a stock card, as stock as you can get it anyway. That has existed for several generations now. The new generation, GTX 1080, 1070, the term reference card is gone. NVIDIA has axed it. They have replaced it with Founders Edition. That means the terms are effectively synonymous. If you hear us or anyone else use the phrase reference card when referring to the new GTX 1080 or 1070, what they are referring to is what NVIDIA is branding as the Founders Edition. Same thing. Uh, so here's where the confusion came from. NVIDIA did its reveal of the GTX 1000 series on Friday. We were there, we covered it and they sort of on stage presented this as, we're gonna have cards from $600 MSRP to a special $700 version, the Founders Edition. And they talked about overclocking, maybe not in the same sentence, but in a, basically the same paragraph with regard to the Founders Edition. So uh, it sounded like, to us anyway, and I know to a lot of folks who commented on our videos asking for clarity, it sounded like the Founders Edition was specially binned or maybe had some kind of special thing in there. It basically became a question of what, what's special about Founders Edition versus Reference. And the, the thing is, there's no more Reference. So uh, it's replaced it. It's not specially binned. It has the new ID or new industrial design, which is that sort of tessellated shroud. But it's got the same more or less cooler you're used to. It has the vapor chamber cooling with a large alloy block with fins in it and a VRM blower fan and then the shroud. Pretty much the Reference cooler we know. Uh, or I should say Founders Edition cooler that we know. Pretty much the same thing there. So there's no special bidding, no pre-overclock even, and it costs $700. So then the question becomes, okay, I get it. There is no more reference card. There is only this Founders Edition GTX 1080. Why then does it cost more than the $600 MSRP? Uh, the answer to that, just from our analysis, because uh, the, the short of it, there was a long discussion with NVIDIA about this. So the short of it is, this is my analysis of the situation. I don't think NVIDIA wants to compete with their partners because just why, why would you? If you're a supplier of a product, which NVIDIA is, uh, to go out and then sell your own product while you have partners trying to do the same on your behalf is something you need to be careful of as a supplier. NVIDIA is in an interesting market position as are these other vendors in some cases uh, within the industry because they both make a, an end user product and they make the device that goes into it that is sold to what effectively becomes uh, the, the ad and board partners. So MSI and EVGA and PNY and ASUS and all the others will buy the GP, GPU, whatever that Pascal chip is that they wanna buy from Nvidia, they'll put that into maybe their own board, maybe with, uh, to go back to the same people, Twin Frozer or ACX or whatever Strix, whatever cooling solutions they have, they might throw that on there. Uh, and those cards can be priced anywhere from $600 higher. So $600 is MSRP, they could sell as low as 600, Founders Edition 700, maybe something like a hybrid, some liquid cooled device would be 750, 800. I'm, that's just total example. I'm not telling you something that, uh, that is unannounced. Total example. Uh, so basically Nvidia was trying to come in at the middle of the stack, they're saying look, we want people to be able to, our partners to be able to sell stuff down here. We want them to be able to sell stuff up here. We want to be in the middle with this reference, this Founders Edition reference card. So, uh, Founders Edition equals reference card. That's the end of it. The, NVIDIA is making one device. That looks like 11. NVIDIA is making one device, and that is the Founders Edition. Uh, they are not making two. They are not making a reference card and a Founders Edition card. Hopefully that clears everything up. I really don't think there's more that I can say here without just repeating myself a thousand more different ways. Uh, but there were a lot of questions about this, so I wanted to be very clear. If you do have more questions about this, there's an article I wrote. It's a couple hundred words, pretty short for us. Hit that in the link in the description below. 
that will recap everything and provide maybe a little bit more information, but th that's really basically it. So hopefully that answers your questions. If you have more, please post them because I will find the answers for you and uh, or at least try to. Uh, and of course, we'll be covering these cards as they near official launch, which is May 27th for the 1080 and June 10th for the GTX 1070. And I just got off a plane, so uh, <laughs> we just got back from Austin. Going to Computex soon, and we will be at Computex when the card officially launches, but fear not, our reviews and all of that will be as normal online on, uh, on the day you would expect them to be. So thank you for watching. Patreon link the post roll video if you want to help us out directly. I'll see you all next time.